Hi guys. Okay, I thought I'll set up um, quickly and pe people can log in then. Yay! Good morning! <laughs> okay, so I thought I'll set up um, my little thing. What time? What time is it, guys? Hi, all! Have you got watercolor ready? You're gonna paint along with me? Um, my setup is not brilliant. Um, I wish I have a better. Um, what do you call it the camera setup because i am paint right in front of the camera which is very annoying and i'm not sure about this off center things going on <laughs> and i wish i can zoom out more i wonder if okay so it's 11 11 05 okay right so we can start okay so today we're going to do color wheel um totally in this world we actually need five colors for the time being and you can mix any color you like thank you for joining me guys have you got your watercolor ready right so all we need are really in this world are five colors okay but for quickness in real life you know it's handy to have a few other colors as well okay um so but at the moment we'll just leave that out okay um, you can make black out of these surprisingly and it would be more convincing black hi guys thanks for joining me um, I haven't started yet because um, I should have logged in way before and then give everybody a chance to join in I don't know how they do that kind of thing I have no idea so um, at the moment just have a look in your palette and just think you know I'm going to need lemon yellow okay ultramarine blue and red so this is like a standard um, color wheel and you can go crazy with different variation but um, hi guy um, so let's go for lemon yellow ultramarine and red to begin with okay so I would like you to are we all kind of here yet because I don't want anyone to miss it's only 23 people how about give you guys another three minutes and um, can you tell me as well because I'm not very good at timekeeping what I'm gonna show you guys okay so this is like a quick test we're gonna do a easy one first okay level one um, we're going to draw lots of little circles but not as small as that okay and if anyone's extremely OCD Go and grab a penny now and you can draw a penny around it but i'm just gonna go with the flow and we can have bits and pieces because we all are not perfect okay so um if you want to go and get a penny and draw so <laughs> ready but let's just um relax and let it go today okay because we don't want to be um extremely ocd about it okay so these are the color wheels that we're going to do um today and you'll be amazed how many colors you can mix with just three colors i know you're welcome and a silly people like me who bought 36 it's just a waste of time and money and um today i'm going clean i clean all my palette um you know shame being plastic it stains a lot um and i haven't got time you know one of those um magic eraser sponge they clean out beautifully all the stain okay guys um let me invite a few more people um how do i um invite i have no idea oh there you go 
la 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 la. Okay, right. I think we are all quiet. Yeah, I have thirty people. I'm happy. <laughs> Don't want you guys all hanging around. So, I want you to keep your palette nice and clean. Okay, so um, you can use a spare brush for you to dip the water in. Let me see if I can get everything in the shot because it's not quite a zoomy zoomy in. I have two bowls there, one for clean water and one for dirty water. Okay, guys. Thank you. Okay, gosh. Um, this is quite awkward. I'm painting in. Well, I have um, the tripod in between my legs. Okay, right. So clean water into the paint. Just a drop each, okay. If you um haven't got it, just use a brush and then just push it in that way, okay. So let's go for yellow first. Oop. Because I took them all out from my big palette because I get a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> Don't know which one to go. So I go there. I might need a bit more water. So let's go for yellow first, guys. Yellow. Can anyone say yellow? Okay, right. Let's draw a circle. So yellow. Okay. How did you guys sleep today? Well, last night. Um, and then clean the brush. So that's one circle done. Not too difficult, is it? Can you type in when you're all done, please? So I know. I don't know how. <laughs> I've never done this before. <laughs> uh, my sister is uh, making fun of me because I have a Hello Kitty pencil case with uh, times tables. <laughs> <clears throat> I bought it from Thailand last time. I'm obsessed with tins, guys. Um, I use these tins to con like for different things. So that's my. Ooh, check me out! Beautiful. <laughs> well done, team. Have you done all your yellow? Oh, thank you, Kami. Oh, is that Jojo? Hi, Rachel. Um, I think you probably beyond the watercolor palette level, but. Why not? Just joining in. Oh, thank you, Cyrus. How are you? Well done, guys. This is good. And when you guys are done, um, let's get into um, a red. Okay, let's start mixing the red for you, you know, on your palette. Now, if anyone um, not saying anything, I don't know. Okay, um, if you find it um, too fast, let me know and I will slow down. Okay, guys, I'm sure we're not bothered waiting for everybody because um, it's the community spirit. Okay, this time, um, the funny time we live in. Okay, I'm quite obsessed. Can you imagine? Just sit there, right, and paint red dots all the whole page. It's so therapeutic, guys. Seriously. Hello, Anne Love. How are you? Please come and watch. Okay. Let me know when you're done the red. And um, I realized that on my palette, I haven't got different reds in my all that 36 colors. I've only got one red, um, which is very annoying. Um, so off I go when we get back out of quarantine. <laughs> to buy more colors hmm good excuse right oh and um while you're all here um if you've done red can you type in right i'll just keep talking rubbish um i can highly recommend a really lovely lovely book if you're into flowers and um a bit stress anxiety um this lady she's amazing emma mitchell she suffered um anxiety and mental health herself and she realized that when she goes outside and look at botanical things it lifts her spirits and gives her joy so um hi guys thanks for joining me um we're doing watercolor color wheels at the moment and um so if you have your pens uh, well you know the paint and colors ready just go for it at the moment just paint yellow 
and red. Only three colors that you need. Lemon yellow, ultramarine, and red. And, um, you know, I'm obsessed with colors and pigment. And um, at some point, I got to the point that, ooh, shall I make my own pigment? But um, the amount of stuff that I have in my house, um, I thought, well, you know what, I'd better not start a new thing because um, making your own colors pigment is quite time consuming and um, you needed a lot of money. Um, but it's quite interesting to read about different pigments, where they're from. And um, like, you know, historically, ultramarine blue was how it was made and um, how in the um, Victorian time and later date, um, how these scientists, scientists, um, managed to make them chemically because some of these colors are um, like, say, crushed beetle. So, you know, there's no way you can create them in a way that... Um, ethically so the majority of the time even the artist quality um paint now they are um synth synthesized is that how you say it okay um <clears throat> next color let's go for um ultramarine blue which is originally originally from france uh -huh. that's why sometimes um on the paint they call it french Ultramarine blue. Ooh, Camille and Jojo, you speed through the color. Well done. And um, Camille's daughter, Jojo, she used to come to, um, to my house every Saturday um, for an art class in the morning um, when she was 10, 11. And now, how old is she? 14? Mm. Ooh la la. Okay, blue, guys, blue. That's a lovely solid blue, isn't it? Hmm? And now it's going to get tricky. The key is to keep your paint and palette clean at all times, okay? So, don't forget to keep your workplace tidy and know where things go. Because then, oh, where's my rubber gone? I had the rubber just here. And, oh, God. Look, see, I told you guys to keep everything tidy. Oh, what? I had the rubber here. Anyway, this lady, um, we... She's amazing. So she goes through each. Um, let's have a look. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Speak through the page quickly. Okay. I don't know how she. Okay. Because I think we started to get really down in winter and autumn. So she started the book from October, I think. And things to look for when you go for a walk. And these are the stuff that she wrote herself. I mean, draw herself as well. She's an artist herself. You can follow her on Twitter. Her name is Emma Mitchell. And um, so she tells you what you can look out in the wild. And, you know, have you heard of that Japanese thing that... Um, well done, Jolene. Serena, yeah, I know. I'm a messy person as well. So this is like against my grain and um, every fiber of my being trying to be messy. But I have to set up a really good example. Well done, guys. The blue's done. Exciting. Okay, so now we have a triangle. Right, guys? But we're going to flatten the curve right now together. Okay? We actually flatten the curve because we're staying in and paint and be creative. But we are still together. Okay, guys? So, we're going to go in. But have you have to remember that certain colors, the, the pigments are a lot stronger. So, you can't do 50-50 to get that. But, um, you know, you can't say, oh, um, I'm going to mix red and blue the same amount of um, pigment and then you get um, you know one color we're talking about the tone here so um, let's go for red and blue together let's marrying them okay we can do with a bit of romance right now okay so I'm going to um, dip a bit of red put in a little droplet of water there Ooh, hello this is like a um, artist dinner date okay first dinner date okay but again, look, um, being an, a dirty painter, I'm really tempted to go in there with my red. But let's not, okay, let's not. Not today. Let's set a really extremely five stars good example for everybody, okay? So that's my clean brush again now. Go in with the blue a tiny bit because I know that blue is a lot stronger than red. Um, and mix it. Look, see, even a tiny bit, um, it does turn. So I've got my lovely purple looks. Woo! I'm going there and paint purple. 
Okay, guys. And um, if you think that is a bit too wishy-washy, you can add more pigment into your pool, the bit that you mix, okay? And keep your brush clean. Let me know if you get your um, purple done, okay? And shout out or um, let me know if you're one of the dirty painters like me, guys. But I know quite a few makeup artists who are very, very nice and tidy and clean. I praise them. Praise the Lord. And while you're doing that, I'm going to show you my black book, guys. Black. <clears throat> Hi, Sai. Are you painting with me or are you just coming to join us? Um, this is my black book, okay? Um, in case of loss, please return to Mona Turnbull. Reward is... One million pounds worth of Thai green curry. <laughs> so um, I'm obsessed with moon face. So look, guys, woo! It's um this this book is about foiling. Oh yes, yeah, I um do you want to catch up? So basically, you only need three colors, babe: lemon yellow, ultramarine blue, and red. That's all right now. That's all right now. Okay, and you just paint solid yellow solid red and solid um blue okay and then we are right now at dipping a bit of blue into um another pool and a bit of red but remember the blue is a lot stronger you don't want to overpowering everything with blue okay so just go easy i would put in red first and then a tiny bit of blue and then keep adding okay Hi Anna, how are you? Are you painting with me or are you just looking? Doesn't matter whatever you're doing. So if it's too pinky guys, add a bit more blue to achieve the blue the purple that you like, okay? And um we're going slow here anyway, Sai, and you know, um if you like your morphe thing then go for it. But we're aiming for a perfect purple, okay, mid-range purple. Love you all. And um, this is the foiling technique that I've done. Um, just have that. Apparently, is Aries star constellation, which is mine. And I'll be celebrating my birthday next month by myself. Hi, Mac Morgan. Um, you're late. You're gonna be. Your point's gonna be deducted, girl. <laughs> just showing off my thingy book while we're waiting for everybody to catch up that's just expressive um you know whatever i don't know what that is and a bit of more moon phase because i'm obsessed with moon phase morgan are you painting or are you um just watching if you're painting please um we need lemon yellow um ultramarine and red okay that's all you need and what you do is keep your palette clean a pool of red a pool of yellow a yellow and a pool of ultramarine blue and then we started with yellow red and blue and then we mix blue and red together to make purple okay serena are you saying you are a dirty painter or you're saying that you create morph Thank you, Morgan. Please join me. Okay, so now we're moving on because I ain't waiting no longer, guys. Okay, so we're going to go for um, red and yellow. Again, red is a lot stronger than yellow. So I would suggest to bring yellow into the pool first of all. Okay. And if you run out of these paints, feel free to go into your palette and pick some more up. Okay, guys. And keep your brush clean, setting good example. And if you're new to watercolor, it's good to have a good habit right now, okay? Because I have a bad habit. Hello, Mama. Oh, my mom is joining me. Mama, sawadika. Can everybody say sawadika? Let's say hello in Thai for female. Serena, when is your birthday? My birthday is 18th. I am fire. Fire, guys, fire. Okay, let's mix a bit of yellow 
and a bit of red. I think I need a bit more. Oh, see, I didn't put enough yellow pigment in there. So you have to go easy with um, yellow, okay, guys? Ooh, 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 it's turning. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's orange. I think. I have no idea. Anyway, I'm going. Maybe I need a bit more red. And feel free, you know, if it is a bit wrong, you just add the pigment straight onto the dots that you just paint because while the paint is wet, which we'll be learning about different techniques tomorrow that you can kind of like sometimes mix the color on your artwork, okay? Okay, how are we doing? Are we doing orange? Are we doing orange, guys? And leave your pools there, okay, guys? Leave the every single color that you mix on the pool there because you never know what you need later. Okay? And I have something to show you. Where is it? Oh, what did I do to it? That's annoying. What? <sighs> Um. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, found it. So well done, guys. Keep going, Catherine. You're late. You are late. Um, where are you at now, Catherine? Um, do you need? That is really weird on my camera. Oh, okay, that's fine. I thought my orange, my yellow is a bit messy. Um, Catherine, where are you? Do you need to recap? Oh, guys, I keep painting. I'll be right back. I'm running off. I'm baking my sourdough. Um, my oven just gone off. Ah, sorry. Task, multitask. for being so unprofessional <laughs> Catherine basically we are just doing the color we also start with yellow red and blue okay and then now we got to the point where we mix the purple and the orange please let me recap quickly <laughs> um, when you mix the colors remember that each colors they are um, stronger than the others you can't um, Mix them 50-50. That's when no one ever told me. And then when I mix 50-50 and, you know, it's all like, oh, why is it muddy? With that, you know, when you think about the colors, you need to think, okay, what pigment is stronger? Okay, so, you know, like when you um do a um Yorkshire pudding, if you put lots of liquid into the flour, dry mixture, it will go lumpy. <laughs> Wow, that's a weird analogy. But anyway, let's go with it. Um, <laughs> so, um, you know, I would say just put in the yellow, like the lightest pigment first, you know, into the pool and then add the red later. Um, little by little to achieve the color that you need. Otherwise, you'll be forever adding lots of yellow into the pool and then you have a large amount of pigment. And guys, if you have artist quality watercolor paint, these one are student quality, so I wouldn't recommend to um, pre-mix them. Um, I lost my beautiful cute palette that I have. If you can find like a little bottle caps or um, seashells, you know, um, let me see. Just going off the story slightly, but it's it all related. If you have like a slightly smaller seashell, right, even like half or um, one third, 
you can mix your own purple. Okay, so you can squeeze, squeeze, and use a little toothpaste to stir it, and then use a little blue tag, put in your um a tin or some some kind. Okay, and then you have this beautiful laying, um, of palette of colors that you already have and ready to rewet and use. Okay, so that's a little tip for you, and you're welcome. But if they are student quality paint, they have more binder and they dry it out quicker. So. I would not recommend. Okay, so professional quality, you can totally do that, and that's what artists um in the studios do anyway. They only have certain amount of pigments, and they don't buy thirty six colors like me. Okay, right. Let's do. Do you know what blue and yellow makes? Please, guys, tell me. Do, um, Leo, Leo, you're watching. Can you tell me what blue and yellow make, please? Hmm. Okay, guys. Right, let's do this. Right again, because the blue pigment is so strong. Right, so we go for yellow first. I'm just going with plain water. Did I say toothpaste? Did I actually say toothpaste? Toothpaste right now? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm bonkers. Okay, so lots of yellow, and then just a tiny bit of blue first. Okay. No, a little bit more. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then green. Okay. So this color theory, you can use acrylic. You can use face paint. You can use um watercolor. But tomorrow we are gonna need watercolor because the techniques that I'll be doing. Well done, Morgan. Um, you know, the techniques that we'll be doing tomorrow, it will be all related to watercolor. Okay. And if you want to be more fancy, we're gonna end it here today. Okay. Um, but if you want, actually, let's not end. One second. One second. <laughs> Are you done with the green? I'm flying through because my bread needs my attention, guys. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to paint a big giant circle. Okay. Keep it quite wet, but not like, I don't know. Keep it quite wet. So I'm just painting invisible circle with water. Okay. Make sure your brush is clean. Hi, and you're late, girl. And what I'm gonna do is, let's just play for fun, okay? I'm going to exactly the same position with yellow, red, and blue. We're gonna go yellow in that corner, okay? Quite a lot, okay? And then I'm just adding some plain water for the water to the color to bleed through on the edges. Ooh, exciting. Hi, Jilly, how are you? Okay, green done, guys. We're going to draw a circle, invisible circle with water, and then drop in yellow. Can you all see? Yeah. Say yes, I'm waiting. Everybody's concentrating now. I'm going really fast now, guys. See? Is everybody still alive? <laughs> no one saying anything. It's quiet. <laughs> Sai, where are you at now? Um, does anyone want to show their work with me? Shall we do split screen? Can anyone show me the work? How do we do this? How do I invite someone? Oh my God. I found like a... Um, <laughs> I found a um, lip sync live on my live option. Oh my god, guys, let's do that tomorrow. Or mystery mask. Hilarious. But how do I invite someone over to join me on the screen? I have no idea. Maybe I'll find out that time next time. Okay, wet circle, guys. And then um, put... Yellow on the corner, exactly where you did with your big circle theory thing. 
and then I'm going with red because I don't want to wait too long. I want them to gel together at some point, guys. Okay, and then cleaning my brush, wipe it off a little bit. And then this is clean brush now with a bit of water. I am just marrying the red and the yellow and the rest is history. Okay, guys, that bit, after a while, it will become orange. But if not, then just help it a little bit, okay? Just marrying, guys, just marrying. We all can do with a bit of love kind of thing, okay? There. Okay? Let's bring red along here a bit more, like pale red. Okay? Guys, are you with me? Um, the watercolor I use today is artist quality. It's called White Knight and it's Russian made. Um, the reason was um, when I bought it, it was really good value um, comparing to other professional quality that um, were on the market right now. Um, but if you're not bothered about the professional quality or whatever, um, you can get student quality as well. And um, Van Gogh is good price. And... Um, Winsor Newton Coatman. It's Cotman or Coatman. I don't know how to pronounce that. They are quite good as well. Okay. And um, I'm going to go into the ultramarine. Here. Okay. The, the key is to keep your brush clean. Okay. And if you haven't got enough yellow, just add more yellow to, to your circles. So this bit needs to be green, okay? The bit where blue and yellow is marrying needs to be green. If it is too yellow, add more blue. If it is too blue, add more yellow, okay? And um, that bit's a bit pull up a bit, but doesn't matter it's art right guys and then we move on to the blue and red let's marry them together be gentle with blue now because it can go a bit um, strong isn't it remember blue is really strong just gently tease it out what is jelly cup gouache paint babe no. Oh, yes, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I have professional gouache paint, so I, I decided not to go crazy on jelly cup thing. But I heard that they're very good. I've got the um artist quality Winsor Newton gouache. So I thought, no, let's not go there then. Yeah, but I, I saw a few people swatching them online. So there you have it, guys. Um, You know, if you want it to be nicely blended, just kind of like use your wet brush to marrying them together but you know it's not a um there's no right or wrong today um so we all different and unique that's how we do it okay but jilly um again if you enjoy color mixing I would suggest you to just buy, um, you know, a really good quality colors, but a limited amount of palette. Um, and really, that's all you need. And when you mix the colors yourself, your paintwork will look much more um, professional and realistic. Because if you pick the color straight from the palette, it's too clean. It's... Um, it's too clean. That's the only way that I can think of. And in real life, you know, nothing is clean or nothing is perfect. And there's no real black or real white. So just think of that. Have a go. Get three or four or five colors. If you need some recommendation, I'll be really happy to tell you what colors that you could use. And um, I think that is brilliant. And again, um, I don't know if you join me in because gouache is... um a re-wetting ability as well. So you can mix them in a little bottle cap or seashell and use a um 
toothpick to mix you know if you squeeze two colors together if you want to make green you can squeeze the you know to like say blue and yellow and mix it and then you can put the um blue tag and find yourself a nice antique tin because painting is about pleasure as well guys it's about relaxing it's not about the results most of the time it's about the process that we're going through and um enjoy that process okay you know like look it's not perfect circle but so what right um and you know picasso um before he can get to the final version of his oil painting he had sketched so many versions of those painting hundreds of them um i have seen his um charcoal sketching of some, some um it was an exhibition some some time ago now um you know um it was a sketch number 60 something and it was like astonishing um that you think you know anyone can come to this final product without practicing or or anything but it's all about hard work okay guys yeah, so there you have it. Thank you for joining me and um, I love you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, same time, same setup. And we're going to go one level up, guys. But not boss level yet because, you know, it's like playing game. We go next level first to get you muscle memory, how to hold your brushes and um, get used to your paint, how it behaves. Okay. And um I love you long time. Thank you. สวัสดีค่ะ Bye. Love you. Oh, um, I'm going to post a picture of my wheels. And guys, please post your um effort into the thread. Okay. Love you. Bye. Thank you for staying with me. See you later, alligator. Have a nice day.